Hi, this video is on finding the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. Uh, now interior angles are slightly trickier than exterior angles, um, where exterior angles all always added up to uh, 360 degrees, and the sum of the interior angles changes depending on how many sides your polygon has. Um, so let's have a look at how we can um, figure out what all of these interior angles add up to. Uh, remember we're after the sum of those interior angles. Now remember this is a pentagon, um, so this is only true for five. Um, slightly later in the video we'll have a look at how we can derive it, it for a general shape. Um, so our strategy is going to be to split this into triangles. Now um, we don't want to create any extra angles that we're going to include when we split it into triangles, so we must always start from one of the corners of the shape and go to a different corner of the shape. So I'll start here and we'll go across to that corner. There's one triangle and we'll go across to that corner. Now that's split it into one, two, three triangles. Okay, now we need to use the fact that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So in a triangle, and the sum is 180. Uh, so if we've split this into one, two, three triangles, that means the sum of the angles of a pentagon um, must be three times by 180. So in a pentagon, the sum is three times by 180, which is 540 degrees. Okay, so we've just seen how we can work out the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon. Uh, now let's see if we can generalise that for a hexagon and a heptagon. So um, a hexagon, again, we'll pick this point here and we'll split it into triangles. Now that gives us four triangles. Um, so this time the sum of the interior angles is going to be 180 multiplied by 4, which is 720 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at the hexagon. Exactly the same strategy. We'll start here this time. One, two, three. So that splits it into one, two, three, four, five triangles. So then we've got 180 times by 5, which is equal to 900 degrees. Um, so hopefully you're seeing, if we know how many triangles we can split a shape into, then it becomes rather easy to figure out what the sum of the interior angles are. And we may have already spotted a pattern, um, but let's just have a quick look at how we can formalise exactly what the pattern is and find a formula that we can use to work out the sum of the interior angles. Okay, so we're going to look at deriving this formula. Um, so what I've done is I've drawn a little table um, for the number of sides of the polygon and the number of triangles we can split it into. And it's quite obvious we can split three a three-sided shape into one triangle. And um, We've seen five and six-sided um, shapes go into three and four triangles. A quadrilateral just splits in half, it goes to two triangles. Um, so I think we can sort of spot a pattern that every time we go up by a side in a polygon, the number of triangles it can be split into increases by one. Um, let's have a quick look at exactly why this works. So if we start with a six-sided shape, um, obviously, as we've seen, we can split that into four triangles. Okay. Now, if we wanted to turn this six-sided shape into a seven-sided shape, and the easiest way to do this, and this will always work, is if we replace one of the lines with two lines instead. Now what this allows us to do is we can always then split our new shape along the line we've just rubbed out, in essence always adding this one extra triangle. So whenever we go increase the number of sides of our polygon by one, what we're essentially doing is adding on a triangle which is going to increase and the sum of the exterior and interior angles by 180 degrees. Okay. So what this allows us to do is 
And remember, once we've figured out the number of triangles, we just times that by 180 degrees, and that gives us our sum of the interior angles. Now, the number of triangles, if we call the number of sides of our polygon n, well, how do I get from 3 to 1, and 4 to 2, and 5 to 3? Well, each time I'm subtracting 2. So to get, if I've got n sides, the number of triangles I can split that up into is n take away 2. So the sum of our interior angles is equal to n minus 2 times by 180, or written slightly more concisely, 180 n minus 2.